Still a lot of national buzz the day after Governor Walker's first big trip to Iowa this year. Walker is testing the waters in the state with the first in the nation presidential contest next year. Governor Walker rolled up his sleeves and opted not to use the podium and teleprompter for a more folksy conversation. If you're not afraid to go big and go bold, you can actually get results. Walker used that go big and bold line four times during his speech. Hundreds of grassroots Republicans were here looking for candidates with presidential promise. What stands out to well, you? Well, I, I would just look at his accomplishments. Iowa State Senator Brad Zahn likes how Walker has taken on the public unions in Wisconsin. Walker has his vote if he runs. When I talk to people, they want to talk about jobs. They want to talk about debt. And I think he's the one person that could, you know, make sure that those changes get done in Washington, D.C. Walker was one of two dozen speakers at the all-day conservative Freedom Summit, which included eight possible presidential candidates. The headlines for Walker were positive. Scott Walker takes Iowa by storm was the headline in the Hill. Scott Walker scores standing ovation in Iowa, writes the National Journal. And Walker shows his dark horse strategy in Iowa, says Time magazine. Walker also used humor to win over supporters. He told the crowd about a critical mistake he once made while shopping at a well-known Wisconsin-based store with a reputation for deep discounts. I went to a Kohl's department store and I bought something for the price it was marked at. He concluded with a promise to Iowans that leaves little doubt he's going to run. I'm pleased to be here in Iowa today. I'm going to come back many more times in the future. Now, the Democratic National Committee tells the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel Governor Walker should roll up his sleeves in Wisconsin and create some of the jobs he promised and balance his state's budget.